Hi guys, so we just come back from the Arnold Classic pre-judging and we've got some exclusive photos for you to look at. So me and Gary, Gary was the official photographer for the Arnold Classic, so he had one of the best seats in the house and obviously seeing these up close and personal. So we're gonna talk about our top six and uh, what we thought about, the well, not the placings yet, but, but thought about each competitor. So if you wanna come close. So as you can see here in the picture, these are exclusive photos from Gary. This is the, we've got William Bonac, Sean Carida and Big Rammy here. So as you can see, both William Bonac and Big Rammy, big improvement from the Olympia, which is only like 12 weeks ago. Sean Carida probably looked as good. Um, no, no, nothing massive difference from Sean. What do you think Gary about Big Rammy? Look, just his legs, I think are still, I mean, the deep, Holes aren't don't seem to be there, but they're not separated. So that's the only thing that I thought thought let him down. And I think if you can see that Sean's legs are diced. pretty diced, and, and mm. Williams are way better as well. He's in he's in pretty good nick. So I'm thinking Rami sixth, um, maybe Sean. No, maybe Bonac fifth and Sean fourth. Fourth. Okay, yeah. that's a good call. Personally, I've got Rami fifth. Sean fourth and William fifth. You can see the yep. side tricep. There. So you can see the side tricep. Sean's got the hardness there. Yeah. Um, William's nice and full, and that's a good post for Ram. So that's a quite a close call. Yeah. yeah. Let's move on to the top three. Yeah. That's not the top three. Right here we go. So this is the top three. So this is the first of the top three. They had they kept on switching these rounds. So Andrew Jacked. His classic front door bicep, which is a signature pose. Great pose for him, but you can tell he's lost, sacrificed a bit of size to get in that condition. When I seen Andrew at the meet and greet, his face was sucked in that. You can still see there how sucked in his face he's is. He's shredded his legs around. He's shredded, so he just looked like he's come down in weight, but yeah. he looked better for it. He was criticized for his condition at the Olympia. Um, Samson looks nice and full there. I think it's, it's between, definitely between Samson and Andrew for this. But I was impressed with Nick. Nick's waist has, has come down a lot, but I think he might have sacrificed a little bit of uh, fullness, fullness for, yeah. for that. But, um, Nick definitely looks streamlined, but he hasn't got that freak factor that he had at the Olympia. Yeah. Front lap spread. Out, to me, Andrew looks a bit awkward in that pose. He looks like his lats aren't fully pump, pulled out. Samson looks the best. Samson yeah. looks the best in that pose. He looks a bit crunched up. Uh, none of them are hitting that pose properly brilliant, brilliant, to, my, no. to my liking um that's a tough one i think probably samson's got that pose from the side i think uh, nick's got this pose, pose from the side yeah. with uh samson probably got more thickness but andrew's got the condition in that pose so um this is the definitely the top top three back double bicep so he shows the one from the back so this is quite a close one to me Nick's got the lower half, is in hardness condition. Separation is hammy. To me, and I know this was Andrew's weak point for his buckle back, so it looked like his back development has improved significantly since the Olympia. Nick's still a bit soft in the middle trap area. Yeah, that's close. I'd say Peter yeah. Samson with that. And Samson's back has always been a weak point, so that's definitely been brought up. Yeah. I'd say Nick's probably got that, just on, on his. Yeah. Uh, uh, Andrew's it, back looks This is where. Weak. Uh, Andrew uh, loses it because he's, he, he's so tall he hasn't got that full back development in his legs so he lacks a bit of thickness and size in his lats look at that gap compared to that gap yeah so there's a you can, you, can, you, can, you can see there's you can a see, noticeable yeah, he gap he still needs uh, a few more years of back training heavy yeah, his, rows, arm, so. his forearms look a bit yeah anyway good one for, uh, for Andrew is this yes so I try this set. is one of Andrew's uh, classic pose. poses he hits this really well See the stripes in his legs, um, the stripes in his upper chest. Nick looks good in there. Yes, they, all these three hit this pose differently, but very, yeah, it's very not, good. I don't think he hit the pose there. My fault, shouldn't use that photo. Have some pies. I think um, Andrew. Andrew's got the tightest midsection there and the most conditioned legs. Yeah. Samson, sort of mid pose there. It's close between Samson and. Andrew for this pose. I think Nick's, it still looks a bit blocky. If you look how wide his lats are in comparison to his waist, yeah. there's not much taper going there. The last pose, 
I suppose most muscular, they're all hitting it differently. It's which you prefer personally. Um, I'm really impressed with Andrew's upper chest, the separation obviously in his shoulders, legs. I prefer the way Nick's doing because he's yeah. flexing his abs. Andrew, Andrew's not Samson's. You can't see. I, is, I don't know. I give that. I give that, that is Nick's signature that Nick. most muscular pose. So that um, Nick, that's yeah. a tough pose for Nick yeah. to sort of lose. But it's definitely. I'd say in this pose is between Andrew and Nick. Yeah. Yeah. So there you go. Uh, just a